So, day three, the final day of the hunt here at week five, a week before we get to chop and change most of our horses. So we've got a fair amount of races here. I think it's a total of 14. And we're gonna start out over in Ireland where we've got the Clonmel Hurdle. Then we've got the Clonmel All Chaser Group Two, over two mile four, a small field there of nine go to post. Uh, you've got Joshua Sutherland obviously in there, Darren Thompson, Moylitz, Jim Murray, Graham, Paul. It's quite a strong field and even Derek Hinton's got one down the bottom with his shopping shop Primark. Then we go to a Mayor's Chase, also a group three over two mile four at Clonmel. Bigger field there, really mixed bunch. Wouldn't like to pick a winner out of any of those. And then we Marty moves off to Narvan where he's got a G2 novice hurdle, and then he's got the Toy Town, Troy Town handicap chase over three miles, and then he moves off to Nass, where he's gonna call home two races, which will finish up his commentaries for the week, and where he's got a group three chase, the Poplar Square, and then he finishes with a listed juvenile hurdle over two miles, the Fishery Lane juvenile listed hurdle. Now, then I pop back into the commentary box, and I've got a couple of races from Fontwell, and which are the starters orders qualifiers, legs four, which is the hurdle qualifier and obviously the chase qualifier. Then I move off to the hunter chase time where I'm going to call five races home from Larkhill where anything can win. There's one over two miles two. We've got a three mile six. We've got a two and a half mile. Fairly mixed bunch. Really good opportunity for everybody to pick up wins. And I'll finish with the Coffee de London which I think is named after a previous national hunt horse over three mile two hunter chase where uh, eight people are going to fight it out. Doug Warren's got a couple in that. Winning race and Heather Oscar. Alex Cherry's Jenny Black goes again. Martin Needham's Venture to Cognac hasn't managed to stay on its feet or been pulled up very often. Moylet Surf has got one in there. He was unseated last time out. Daniel French, Downhouse and Graham Clutterbuck. And if I had to pick a winner there, I'm going to give the kiss of death to Martin Leadham. He's told me all week that he won't win anything. Um, is, he, is he right? Have we had a week? Has he won nothing? Anyway, so uh, let me hand you over to Martin. Uh, where is he? Clonmel, I think. Um, again, he's probably rummaging around in the commentary box. So good luck to everybody today, and uh, we'll see you all next week.